First reading, a reading from the book of Job, chapter 9, verses 1 to 12, verses 14 to 16. Then Job answered, Indeed I know that this is so, but how can a mortal be just before God? If one wished to contend with him, one could not answer him once in a thousand. He is wise in heart and mighty in strength. Who has resisted him and succeeded? He who removes mountains and they do not know it, when he overturns them in his anger, who shakes the earth out of its place and its pillars tremble, who commands the sun and it does not rise, who seals up the stars, who alone stretched out the heavens and trampled the waves of the sea, who made the bear and Orion, the plaids and the chambers of the south, who does great things beyond understanding and marvelous things without number. Look, he passes by me and I do not see him. He moves on but I do not perceive him. He snatches away, who can stop him? Who will say to him, what are you doing? I can't believe he would listen to me. How then can I answer him, choosing my words with him? Though I am innocent, I cannot answer him. I must appeal for mercy to my accuser. If I summoned him, and he answered me, I do not believe that he would listen to my voice. The Word of the Lord My dear friends, today 30th of September, the church celebrates the Feast of St. Jerome. As we all know, St. Jerome was a biblical scholar and he translated the Bible into Latin. The Word of God coming to us in different languages is a sign, is a symbol of God's presence among us. We read the scriptures in our own languages, in English, in Singhala or in Tamil or any other language, speaks to us the word of God. Therefore, on this feast day of St. Jerome, let us also commit ourselves to the reading of the scriptures so that we will also be messengers of his word to the world. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 9, verses 57 to 62. As they were going along the road, someone said to him, I will follow you wherever you go. And Jesus said to him, Foxes have holes and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. To another he said, Follow me. But he said, Lord, first let me go and bury my father. But Jesus said to him, Let the dead bury their own dead. But as for you, go and proclaim the kingdom of God. Another said, I will follow you, Lord, but let me first say farewell to those at home. Jesus said to him, No one who puts a hand to the plow and looks back is fit for the kingdom of God. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear friends, today the invitation by Jesus to follow him is an invitation to proclaim the word of God by their lives. As Jesus was calling his disciples, there were different responses. But 
Jesus' firm commandment was that you go and proclaim the kingdom of heaven and let the dead bury the dead. Therefore, our faith should be a living faith. Our faith should be always put into practice. If we are dead, our faith will be dead as well and we will be counted among the dead. But my dear friends, our faith should be alive, stronger and shared. That is for what Jesus calls us to be messengers of his word. As we celebrate the feast of St. Jerome, we are given the courageous example of St. Jerome to read the whole scripture, the whole Bible, as he translated it to Latin, and then it was translated into vernacular languages, and now we read the scriptures in English or singular, Tamil or any other language. We are called upon, my dear friends, as Christians to at least read a passage of scripture daily and to read the Bible continuously. If we take an account of ourselves, we know that we are not reading the gospel or the scriptures daily. We do read, we do listen to the words of scripture in church, in our lessons or during uh, classes or through the television. But we are called upon as well, my dear friends, to do a personal reading of scripture. And St. Jerome gives us a great example as he was instrumental in translating the scriptures into Latin so that it can be translated into different languages. Our own effort in reading the scripture is the first step in our proclamation of the word of God to others. Therefore, it has three stages. The personal reading and knowing of scripture and proclaiming and sharing the message by word of mouth with others. The third being, by our witness, we need to put the word of God into practice. Then only we will be a living people, sharing the faith with each other and proclaiming the word to others. Sri Vachanaya